all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tree up this is on a piece of property where um, it's a local inn and this is one of the parking areas for their busy season in June and it's currently May so they're looking to have this taken out of here in the next couple few weeks so I'm gonna work on getting this out today there is another tree on the other side of their property that I will end up coming back at a later date for because it's a little bit tougher to get to but I'm gonna start off by grabbing this one for today and uh, we'll take it from there I got a bunch of others to grab but we're gonna start with this one for now so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and I'll show you how I load it All right, so we got our winch all hooked up over here. And I'll show you how this works. So I'm gonna show you how I run my winch off my truck. Because the battery I have, I should get a deep cycle battery, but this is a regular car battery. Doesn't work great for running the winch. I don't know if the battery's just no good or if it's just the type of battery I have, but um, I either should get a deep cycle battery or I'll just keep doing it the way I am. So how I run this off the truck, it works a lot better this way. I bought a one gauge, 25 foot set of jumper cables. So I start my truck and I run it right off the alternator, which puts out probably about 14 volts. So I hook the truck up to this battery then I hook the winch up to it as well. And I run it all off of that. And it runs much, much better that way. All right. Now, we're going to keep going to load this log off. So this is where having a log arch would come in handy because now I have to figure out how I'm going to get the log lifted up. got one of them on. <clears throat> we'll see if we can drag this other one on here.
right guys, well that's all I'm going after for today. Whew. The bugs out here are pretty horrible. <laughs> um, so I got these two logs, one's probably about eight feet, I might get like six foot boards out of it, maybe. And the other one is probably only gonna be about four feet. But, you know, I figure I spend about an hour or so grabbing these. So it kinda, kinda ends up being worthwhile. I don't pay anything for the logs, just some of my time and I love being outside. So, you know, I can't complain. So it just gives me some more wood to mill when the time comes. Oof. Well, that wasn't too bad, huh? Um, one thing that's definitely gonna speed things up though is when I set up that arch on the trailer. It's gonna make quite a bit of difference. Because um, you can see where I spent a good portion of my time. Number one, yeah, cutting all the branches off and limbing it and, and that sort of thing, but trying to get the log up onto the trailer is where I struggle. Every time I get the log over to the trailer, I look at it and think, ah, am I, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> and I do that every time. So I really need to take some time to get that log arch put together so I can make this a lot easier. I hope you guys like that anyway. Um, it's a little different from sawmilling or woodworking or building stuff. Uh, it's kind of where the whole process starts, I guess you could say. For me at least, it's always been somebody has a tree cut down by a tree service that they need gone. Somebody had the a uh, few a couple of people I've gone out to had the power company come out and take trees off the lines that were touching the lines and they cut down and left the stuff in their yard uh, trees falling down in people's yards storms that take trees down like this this was the biggest one though this one we've had we had a lot of trees come down in town and I've never had so much all at one time that I needed to go get so this one I figured it would be a good one to uh, show you. So I hope you guys uh, like this and if uh, you do like it, definitely hit the thumbs up button. It helps a lot. I really appreciate that. Uh, so again, I appreciate your watching and take care. Hope you guys are all doing great. Hope you have a great weekend. All right guys, talk to you later. Take care.